What's up, everyone? I'm Melissa Knowles. Trending now, Nike's new shoe steps into some controversial territory, plus a bizarre story about how two men received emails from their dead friends. In an attempt to pay homage to the Irish on St. Patrick's Day, Nike has inadvertently insulted them instead. The shoe company released this seasonal sneaker called the Nike SB Black and Tan Quick Strike. What Nike thought they were referencing was the popular black and tan drink made with a stout like Guinness on top of a pale ale like Harp or Bass. Although the ingredients are Irish, it is not a drink you should ever order in a bar in Ireland. That is because the Black and Tans were a brutal English paramilitary group who were used in the 1920s to suppress the Irish Revolution against British rule. They were also known for ruthless attacks on Irish civilians. The president of the Irish Lobby for Immigration Reform said the name of the shoe, quote, would be the American equivalent of calling a sneaker an Al-Qaeda. Although multiple online stores are using the offensive name, Nike explained in a statement to FoxNews.com that the sneaker has been unofficially named by others. The sneaker giant also apologized, adding that, quote, no offense was intended. Next up, an eerie story from the state of Pennsylvania. Jack Frace of Dunmore, Pennsylvania, passed away last summer from a heart arrhythmia. So you can imagine how surprised two of his closest friends were when they received emails from Jack's account months after his death. And not just spam emails, personal messages about needing to clean their dirty attic and hoping that one friend's broken ankle heals. Now Jack's friends do not actually believe Jack was sending emails from another realm, but they have yet to find out who sent them. They asked his mother and she doesn't know, and they assert that no one had Jack's password. Even if it is just a prank, they are accepting the messages as a gift to help cope with a close friend's death.